Hi everyone, Darren here. I thought I'd mix up my videos a little bit and do a slight technical analysis of why one of these modules failed. A customer came to my shop and asked me to figure out what was going on with his car. So he had a twin point injection car and when I first started the car I noticed that the fuel pump would just run continuously and normally on an, an MPI it'll actually start the module uh, fueling cycle and then it'll shut off after 10-15 seconds once the, but in this particular car it was just on all the time when the key was on so I started digging around and I noticed that uh, someone had been in the trunk installing a stereo and had damaged the wiring going to the pump and it had been repaired but the wiring wasn't great so I fixed that and then I noticed that there was a relay hiding under the dash that was running the pump and I thought okay this is interesting so anyway I corrected the harness and made it back to what the factory had installed and the car would run only when it was cold not hot so I figured there was a problem in this box so I went ahead and replaced this and all the problems went away so somewhere inside here there is a problem with one of the uh, well I don't know what the problem is exactly but we're gonna go ahead and take this apart and find out what's going on I already noticed that this pin here has some uh, burn damage or corrosion damage so that may actually be a part of it but I'm just gonna open this up and have a look at the relays that are inside here and see what what happened to it mostly just for forensic analysis but um, also just curiosity so if you've never seen the inside of one of these and I have not uh, follow along while I open it up and find out what it looks like so to get this open there are a number of little uh, tapered tabs that need to be pushed in and then you can release this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I will get this open. So my thought about releasing all these tabs all at once was to slide bits of plastic from just some random packaging that I had in between the tab and the housing. So I'm hoping that this will relieve all those clips and allow me to pull this apart successfully without damaging it. Well, after many minutes of struggling to get this apart, I was eventually successful using these plastic tabs to lift this out. There was some prying, as you can see here. I had to pry against this, but um, I was able to remove this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and see what, see what we got. And as I mentioned before, it is just four relays in a box. But uh, let's find out what happened here. Um, the pin that I'm looking at is this pin, which is this trace. And if we follow it to the bottom here, it's going to be this pin. So it's involved with this relay. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and see what we got. Um, I don't see anything obvious, but maybe it's just hard to see. Well, it looks like there's just some bad burning on the contact pad. So I'm going to go ahead and shine a light in here to highlight the pad. So what I'm looking at is the surface in here. And when the relay goes closed, it closes the contacts this way. So the pad is inside this area. And if I shine a light, I can see that there's some burning or damage. See how it's darker in the center of that spot? Uh, for comparison, this relay up here has uh, almost nothing to show on that surface. It's basically clean. Uh, same thing with this one down here. The, the contact pad shows uh, basically brand new. I think this might be the unused relay. So I think that's the problem, is that this, this thing got overloaded and it, it scarred the surface to the point where uh, the contact was just getting lost occasionally. Um, also to note, this one up here shows some, some very heavy uh, use as well. See how dark the pad is? So I assume that this is actually the main relay, but um, either way, I think that was the main cause of the failure on this board. So what I might do is I might just clean this up and make this my traveling spares uh, relay for, for road trips. But at this point, this wouldn't be used in anyone else's car.
Well, I managed to get the camera to go a little closer, and you can see that the pad there is got a nice spotted ring, whereas this one, it's nice and clean still. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that that was the reason that this relay failed, is that it got overloaded and damaged the contact surface. That's pretty bad. So the way that I'm going to clean these pads is by taking a small piece of wet sandpaper. This, in this case, it's just some 600. And I'm just going to gently stick it in between the pads of the relay. And I'm just going to gently push down and with a very light flossing motion, clean them. And then I'm going to spin it over and clean the back side as well. That way they both get cleaned equally. Great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to these other two that seem to have some weird spots as well. But I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together after I'm done cleaning it and then put it in the car and test it out and see if it operates as it should. Well, I finished sanding all the pads and I went ahead and blew off all of the dust off of it so I can put it back together. I also blew out any dust that accumulated inside here. So these should just fit nicely now. There is a small groove here and here for the board, circuit board, to line up on. Just make sure that they slide together nice and smoothly. And uh, this should just snap back together. There. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Alright, well, that seemed to have worked because the fuel pump was now operating as it was supposed to. And I interrogated the computer with my ACR4 and had it cycle normally. So it seems to be performing as it should. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this as spare use only or emergency use only. And um, just keep it in my traveling kit. But uh, I think that was the, the problem. So if you guys thought that this was informative or interesting, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see other videos like this, just uh, let me know. And... Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.